So I use TubeBuddy to get millions of views per month across all my channels. And most people are using TubeBuddy only for the keyword research tool, but there is so much more to TubeBuddy than just the keyword research tool. And I'm about to show you it. So here we're logged onto TubeBuddy and the first tab we have open is data and insights. So when I click on this, I'm instantly given a health report. So with this health report, it's just a generalized overview of how your channel is performing compared to its 30 days prior. So here, this is a little graph in which it's compared to the 30 days prior to it. And it also shows you some relatable terms that people are finding your channel for. This is a good way to get future video topic ideas. But overall, a very generalized health report. The next tab I use a lot is the retention analyzer. And so with the retention analyzer, it organizes your data based on what percentage retention people are staying within your video. So what I like to use this tab for is I'll use this tab to analyze the best performing intros because data shows that the more people that are able to watch past the 30 seconds of your video, the more likely they are to watch the rest of your video. So that's why even YouTube themselves, they have something called a first 30 second average view duration that gives you a percentage of how many people are still watching your videos after the first 30 seconds. So here we can organize it by the first 30 seconds or the first minute. I prefer the first 30 seconds. And when you click this upside down triangle, it'll show you which videos have the highest percentage of people still watching at that 30 second mark. So the first two videos are videos that I posted years ago. So here we have a video called if you re-upload, what I'll do is I'll look at this intro because notice how this one got 69%, 67%, 67%. What I'll do is I'll look at those intros and try to find patterns and key points that are particular to that video. And I'll use those key points within those intros in future videos as well. The usage stats, not very useful. I, it just shows you what you've been using TubeBuddy for. But next, let's go to the launch pad. The launch pad is just a quick checklist of best practices when it comes to YouTube. Because I know YouTube like the back of my hand, I don't use this too often, but for beginners, I do recommend, you know, go over the best practices setup, the opportunity setup, the checklist template, go through those because if you're a beginner to YouTube, you will find those helpful. Now, the next tab that I like using is a search rank tracking. So here on this tab, you can add multiple keywords that let's say that you want to rank for on your YouTube channel. And once you add them, you can click on ranking reports and it'll show you what videos are ranking for that specific keyword term. So this tab works especially well for people who are trying to capitalize on search traffic a lot. Across most of my channels though, I do capitalize more so on browse and suggested traffic. But if you're running a very keyword focused search based YouTube automation channel or just a YouTube channel in general, this tab could be very, very beneficial to you because you can add, I think up to 50 keywords to track with the highest upgraded plan of TubeBuddy. And when you add those, you can keep track of what positions your videos rank for when it comes to those keywords that you're trying to target. Now, the next tab is the tab that I probably use the most and it's the competitors tab. So how you can use this to generate millions of views per month on your channel is that I like to find something what I like to call inspiration channels. And these inspiration channels are channels that I find inspirational for my channel itself. These are channels that I really like the topics. I really like the thumbnails. I really like what they're doing, how fast they're growing. So what I'll do is I'll add, click on this add competitor icon, and then I'll copy and paste the channel URL into here and then click on save. So you can have at most 10 competitors. And so these are just all different channels that I do like and follow. And once a week or multiple times throughout the week, actually, what I'll do is I'll click on this scorecard. And what this does is that it compares all the videos that each of these channels have created within the past 30, 90, or even year. So here it gives you a lifetime report. The lifetime report, I don't look at too much because it's very, very skewed. I mean, but it does give you a generalized sense of how well YouTubers are performing against each other. Here we have the last 30 days, which is a lot more beneficial to me. So we can see how many views they've gotten, how many subscribers they've gotten, how often they're actually uploading. So this is a key metric that I think you should be looking at because what I found is that a lot of people, personal brand influencers especially, they don't upload all too often. So here we have Ali Abdal uploading five videos a month, Aurelius Tijin uploading one video a week, Black Hustlers Club not even uploading anymore, DreamCloud uploading five videos a month. So it's not about the frequency, but it's more so about the quality of the videos that are being uh, put out based on this data as you can see here. Now we have a views per day chart, we have a subscribers per day chart, and an uploads per day chart. And this tab in particular, the most recent uploads, this is where I'm trying to look for very outlier videos that are getting a ton of views compared to the other channels. So I'll look at the view count and here we have a video called my simple productivity system and that got 50k views. 
maybe I want to make a video related to this topic of a keyword being productive. Here we have one, a video that got 120,000 views. Maybe I want to make a video topic on procrastinators and mistakes to make and how to avoid them. So I do spend a lot of time looking at the most recent uploads of my competitors because the way I see it is that if your quote unquote competitor posts a video that doesn't work, and you had that similar idea to post a similar video, then perhaps maybe you shouldn't post that video because it didn't work for them. So that's the way I think about when looking at this most recent tab of other videos that my competitors have posted. And it's a good insight and comparison of what videos have worked for them and what videos can possibly work for you as well. So that's the competitors tab on TubeBuddy. It's a very, very useful tab. Like I said, I do use it the most, but let's move on. Brand alerts. So brand alerts is something if you're very, very popular on YouTube, you can click on this brand alert and click on manage. And whenever someone uses your search phrase that contains your brand alert, so the search phrase you can type in here, let's pretend that you want to create a brand alert for the word Disney. Every time a video uses the word Disney, you're going to be alerted for it. So moving on to the AB test, which is probably the most beneficial tool when it comes to using TubeBuddy. These A-B tests are something that every YouTuber should be doing. So what you can do here is that it basically gives your videos a second chance at life. That's the way I see it. So what you do is that you click A-B test and you can either set a thumbnail split test or a metadata split test. So let's pretend I want to split test this video here. You can create a thumbnail CTR test or metadata test. I normally only change out the thumbnail. And once you change out the thumbnail, what TubeBuddy does, let's pretend we select thumbnail. I usually run the test until it's proven to be statistically significant, or you can set a number of days. I prefer the statistical significant, even though it may take some time. But with statistical significance reach, that point makes it so that TubeBuddy has deemed that one version of your test has a 95% chance or better of outperforming the other split test. So let's select this one, then click on continue, and then I'll upload a second thumbnail here. And every time what TubeBuddy will do is that it'll change the thumbnail out. And once statistical significance has been reached, it'll automatically permanently upload the better performing thumbnail. So let's say that you post 15 videos a month. If you're running split tests on all those videos, it's technically almost synonymous to having 30 chances of going viral on YouTube. So imagine if you're posting daily and you run split tests on every single video. That's like having 60 chances of going viral on YouTube. So what I found is that this split test feature has definitely led videos to go viral for me. Because it switched to a better performing thumbnail, let's pretend that this thumbnail here got a 3% click-through rate, but this thumbnail here got a 10% click-through rate that's almost a 300% increase in clicks, which also means a 300% increase in potential views. So this thumbnail split test feature is one of a kind, very specific to TubeBuddy. It has led me to getting millions and millions of views across my channel. So very cool feature to have. But once you've learned how to utilize TubeBuddy for your advantage, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video next on secret tools that TubeBuddy is still hiding from you that you can still use to grow your own channel.